Hello SL family, welcome back to another video. Today's video, I am still downstairs, I'm across from my office and right outside where we just did that brick panel wall. I'm gonna do this bathroom here. Um, I love this bathroom. I even love this curtain. I bought this so many years ago and it's by the great and late B Smith and she did a phenomenal job with um, the details of it. But I must, I must retire it for now. And I am going to go ahead and give this space a new refresh, new look. And I am going to take you along with me. If you are ready, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and jump into this video and get started. I want to give you an overview of my bathroom. It's definitely dated and needs a makeover. The thermofoil is peeling from the cabinet doors and the cabinet base. I will be painting the walls. I'm going to also remove and install a new faucet and sink drain. I will be updating the toilet lever and decorate the space to match my aesthetics. I am using my trusty heat gun to remove the thermophore from the cabinet doors and the cabinet base. All you will need to do is heat up the thermofoil and it's easy as one, two, three, and it starts coming off those doors. Now, once I um, get the thermofoil off, it's very little prepping that I will need to do because they are in perfect condition. I am going to clean any residue using denature and then I'm going to give it a light sand to get them ready for painting. I want to take this time to welcome all of our SL family members as well as our new family members and anyone stopping by my channel for the very first time. I'm Sean LaKell and thank you for clicking on today's video. Family, I want to give you all an update. My IG account name has changed. It is Shauna LaKell underscore home decor. And if you have an IG account, you can go ahead and give me a follow over there. I love to have you. I do stories and reels and behind the scene footage. That's Shauna LaKell underscore home decor. I cleaned off all residue. I did some sanding, very light sanding, and got the doors prepped and ready. So what I'm doing is adding my primer and the primer is going to allow my paint to stick. This is a very small bathroom, so I have now made it back into the bathroom and adding the primer onto the base cabinets. What I like about this, this did not take a long time to do at all. Very simple and easy to do of adding the primer and allowing it to um, dry properly before I add the first coat of paint. Now this front board was a little challenging, but that's okay. Just make sure you take your time and get into all the little um, crevices, all the little um, holes. It's, it's just a lot of areas that I need to make sure that I get that primer on because once I start adding my first coat of paint, I want to make sure everything sticks. So I really took my time and made sure that I got into those little areas. Thank you. 
Well, it's the next day and it is time for me to add the first coat of paint. I have just gotten off from work and I got myself all prepped up and ready to go in here and add that first coat of paint. The key to having a awesome finished job is to make sure you prep the um, surface correctly and that's exactly what I did. So this paint went on very easy and I am very satisfied and pleased with the results next segment that's going to be coming up i am going to be sharing the color that's going to go on the wall one of my ig friends um she shared this color and i thought that i would give it a try and i went on and shared me doing this on instagram so you will see that little segment coming up shortly where i am sharing and the paint color is called gossamer veal okay I'm going to go ahead and try it. I don't know if I'm going to like it or not, but I'm going to give it a try. It's on the wall, and guess what? <laughs> That's what I'm going to be using. Uh -huh. I think it's going to be okay. I think it's going to be. I'm doing something different. I'm stepping out of the box. Um, I've had this color for many years on this wall, and with this bathroom that I'm getting ready to do, it's going to be really nice. you got to... I got some, I'm going to be doing a bowl and movie bathroom, and I definitely need to kind of brighten it up a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, this is going to be the color. Um, I'm already in it. I'm not going to change it. So this is the color. Now I'm sharing some footage of one of the walls that is completely covered more with that color so I am liking the color and I am going to go ahead and move on and finish the entire bathroom the gossamer veal is definitely brightening up the room um, this bathroom is definitely coming alive I thought I would never part from this color I know some people are going to say Shauna it's a dated color no not to me I love that color and um, I'm trying something new I'm stepping out of the box and I went with it I thought I would never do this but I went on and I finally found something different that I really like and it's not a white color it's a slight gray tint color very light gray um, and I really like the color so I said let's start with this small area that way if I like it I can then try maybe some other areas I'm not sure yet but I am definitely leaning towards um, painting some other rooms in this color and we will see so now I have painted the entire room the entire bathroom and that color really looks good so I'm, I'm pleased with it it looks really really nice and definitely the black um, sink cabinet definitely looks good with that as well so it's coming together and I have some more things I need to do I decided I was going to go ahead and paint the light fixture Mark couldn't get it down and I was like okay he injured himself I was like you know what I'm going to go ahead and do this my husband and I we were playing in the kitchen and he was trying to run from me and he slipped and fell and he fell on his hand y'all and oh my god I thought he broke it and he thought he broke it as well too I'm going to insert a little image of his hand in here right here so here's some footage of his hand he took a really bad fall thank god he didn't break anything we did have it x-ray we've been soaking it in epsom salt as well as um, witch hazel um, 
one of the things he had to be very careful with medication so he kind of dealt with a lot of the pain but by him not able to do anything a lot of the work that he was going to do it has now um, fallen on me so I'm using this two paint system that I used in my laundry room when I painted the faucet I'm going to use that same um, system painting putting that primer on it which is the rust-oleum automotive primer and it is a fast drying paint which is great and then once it dries I'm going to then paint it with the rust-oleum matte finish custom shop in black and that's how I did. I was like having I'm like man, I just painted this wall now I gotta put paper on it. But um using the box, it definitely caught a lot of the paint and concealed it in there. So I'm so happy that I was able to do that. I removed the box so the paint does not or should I say the light fixture does not stick to the box. I didn't want that to happen. So once that dried I put it back up again and now I'm going at it with the um, matte finish custom shop in black matte. And like I said it's definitely catching all of this paint keeping it concealed in there and it worked out perfect. And it really turned out great so I love that um, I had a couple other things I wanted to do but I just could not do them I really needed his help um, so some things I could not get done that I wanted done but I definitely was able to do the tile racks and get those painted using the same system I saved some money by just re um, purposing my um, Gosh, what do you call these things? I just went to a brain frog. The towel racks. I went on and spray paint the towel racks so that they can also match my aesthetics as well. So I allowed those to dry. I thought I'd come back inside the house and keep it moving. I was like, okay, these are the covers that goes over the light bulb in the bathroom. And I noticed that when we had the house painted by professionals, they put paint on these bulbs here, on these covers. So I'm using that Denature um, alcohol, and it definitely helps to easy get that paint off so if you have stuff like this and you see paint on it get yourself some of that denature alcohol you guys know i am i live by this stuff because i shared it with you last year when i did our bathroom as well as the laundry room and it just definitely works really really good it gets all that paint off so if you have this make sure you get some of this and keep it in the house and it takes paint off it actually helps really good to clean up any spillage of paint that you may accidentally um, drop on the countertop the tub the, um, the toilet lids I'm just telling you I've used it and it gets it off and it does not mess up your countertops Now you know I'm a stickler for making things look as neat as possible, looking like it was professionally done. I had some overspill on my cabinet doors from painting them, so I'm also using the Denature on that as well, as well as a razor, and it's just going to go ahead and allow me to um, get all that overspill paint off my doors and give it a nice clean 
edge look just like it was professionally done so if you haven't seen those two videos that i talked about my bathroom as well as the laundry room i still have to do it even for the any bathroom that i'm doing with these cabinets i'm not a professional person so my hands kind of move and the paint will drip and but i found a way to get it off and make it work and it looks so professional once it's done Now just look at all of that overspill paint, that dried on paint that um, I was able to remove. I'm telling you, get yourself some denature. It works, family. It works. I'm going to keep on preaching it to you. Yes, it works. Well, I purchased a brand new faucet. It is a rainfall faucet in black matte. And I will have this linked in the description box. It will take you to my LTK shop and I do get a small commission from it. So we're gonna go ahead and take this into the bathroom and get it installed. So what I'm doing is just um, turning the hot and cold water off to make sure that um, it's off so I go ahead and turn it on and yep no water's coming out so yep I did that correctly and what I realized I um, forgot to film the part where I disconnect everything but it is removed and it's disconnected and it, you can see so what I'm going to do is go ahead and get this cleaned up because it has some really icky stuff there that needs to be cleaned up before I can install the new faucet This faucet was um, easy to install. I like that it has that plate and then I, all I need to do is stick those um, hoses through there. They're color coded for the red for hot and the blue for cold. Simple and easy to put in and um, connect. Now I will not tighten everything up until I make sure I test everything to make sure it's working properly. So I just kind of hand tighten these up, but you will see later where once I get everything in place, I will go back and use my wrench and just go ahead and tighten things up. Well, it is now time to remove the sink drain. Now I'm telling you, I thought this was a two piece um, sink where it was screw off right at the top, but it didn't. I found out that um, it's it's all in one. So what I had to do, I I first started, I went on YouTube and I was checking to see how to get it all for there because I thought it was, as again, I thought it was two pieces, the one that can just, you twist off. I was hitting it, I poured some um, witch hazel down it. I was told that that helps break things up and then I took a small hammer and just tapped it seeing if it was stuck. But it, baby, let me tell y'all, this here gave me a run for my money. I was getting so upset and found out that I need to now do something I've never done before. Work with a tool that I never worked with before. And I'm just like, are you kidding me? So my husband, he directed me <laughs> showed me what I need to do I had to put all get this tool and I had to come down here this piece right here it's a whole piece and then you see how close it is to the sink I had to go and get this uh, machine that he has um, I do have that linked in my description box as well on my LTK and 
I had to saw this off. I had to get this little mini saw thing to saw it off. And it was going through metal. It took a minute, but guess what? I got it off, y'all. I did. I can't believe it. It took me through something, but I did not give up. I kept going and going until I finally got that piece off. Just like I said, it was a whole piece. Oh my gosh. And you see that metal? I had to cut through that. It was it was something, but I got it. And now we're going to move on and we're going to get it all cleaned up. And I will start installing the sink drain. So I'm going to go ahead and use some more witch hazel to break up that cement. Whatever they used back in the day. This house is 18 years old, so whatever they used, it's all caked up in there. And I'm showing you some footage how caked up it is. So this witch hazel is breaking it down. Like the people said, I found a couple on on um, YouTube and they were t telling me to use it. So, hey, I gave it a try. I had it at home. So you see how I'm, it's just breaking it up. And I love that. It's breaking it down so that I can go ahead and get it clean. So I just went on and cleaned it. Now look in this pan. This is all what came out. So yeah, it that witch hazel helps break down stuff. So here's the new sink drain. It's a pop-up stopper. It's really nice. It's black matte and um, it goes perfect. So what all I need to do is just remove the plastic covering and go ahead and install it. So I'm just going to push it down there and then you'll see me go down underneath and start connecting all of the pieces together. I'm going to go ahead and use my wrench and tighten everything up. It's time to turn the water back on. 
on and check to make sure we have no leaks and so far we're looking good now we're going to go up to the faucet and turn it on and it's working now let's go back down and let's see if we see any water no water i would say this was a job done correctly Your girl has did a fabulous job with installing this. I'm so freaking proud of myself. I am so proud of myself. Fist bump everybody, fist bump. Yes, fist bump, fist bump me, definitely. I'm very proud of this. It turned out perfect. All right. Okay, we're gonna move on to the toilet. I wanna um, take out the toilet toilet handle that you flush the toilet with and they gave us this plastic one and I wanted something more modern and black so I found one on Amazon I'll have it linked in my description box everything will be linked that I can link will be in the description box for you and we're gonna go ahead and put this in see that's a beautiful black one I like that and I just went on and installed it. It wasn't hard or difficult at all, guys. You can do it, okay? And just like that, it works fine. And I have a new toilet handle. Fist bump me, y'all. Okay, look at me doing my happy dance. Uh-huh, fist bump me, everyone. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is remove all the newspaper because everything is dry and it is that favorite time. It is time to decorate, guys. It is time to decorate. I want to take you back to where we started from um, this was the bathroom before what it looked like and I had thermal foil that was peeling off the cabinets and it was dated the burgundy had to go it was time to retire it and just to give this a whole new look so this is before and oh my gosh wait till you see the after Here's the after when you walk into this space. It is bright, light, and airy. I'm loving the vibes that it is giving off with the pops of black, some little hints of gold here and there, some green for organic. 
and I am loving the sink drain faucet the towel holder the frame we put around the mirror because we did have some mirror rod again so I conserved a lot of stuff where I can save and then where I need to spend I spent now this here artwork I purchased this um, it's a dupe I'm sharing with you something from McGee and Co. It's very expensive for their print, but I was able to find this on Etsy and I'll have the link in my description box. All I did was took it to uh, FedEx print and they print it for me and I put a mat in there, a black mat, and I already had the frame. So all together, this was probably about $40 for me and I saved big. Love the way it turned out. And the um, towels are from Walmart. I would definitely have that linked in the, my description box with you as well. And I'm, I already had these tie backs. They, I had them for a long time. And I just reused them over with my towels. Everything just really turned out nice. And I painted these um, finials. I think that's what they're called. I just painted them black. They were burgundy and I kept the greenery there just trying to keep some greenery and I added my black oh my gosh black tulips. Uh, yep I'm unique and different. I love those black tulips and I put them right there. The black stool came from Walmart and that will also be linked. The black velvet curtains and the black rod is from Amazon. I will have that linked. I did not purchase a shower liner because we don't use this bathroom like that. But when guests do come, we will definitely install one there. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope I inspired you. I motivated you. I gave you some inspiration to go ahead and tackle one of your bathrooms that you would like to see done. And from there, we're gonna go ahead and end this video. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you like the video and please share the video with family and friends. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.